Number 10, It Takes Two. This is definitely a nightmare. I need to wake up. <laughs> the latest release from co-op masters Hazelight Studios, who were also behind A Way Out in 2018, It Takes Two has a similar focus on multiplayer. It's the story of May and Cody, a couple going through a divorce much to the upset of their daughter, Rose. Long story short, a magic spell traps them in the bodies of two small dolls, and they need to navigate a gigantic version of their house to ultimately break the spell. It's an endearing 3D platformer with lots of puzzles and fun mechanics, ensuring all levels feel different and the gameplay never gets old. Why do you look like a blob of clay? Why do you look like a wooden doll? <gasps> Number 9, Returnal. Roguelikes have always been beloved, but thanks to their unforgiving nature, they've never quite hit the mainstream. That all changed with Returnal, one of the first major PS5 exclusives and AAA roguelikes ever made. You play as Selene, a space explorer lost on an alien world who mysteriously comes back to life each time she dies. The only thing holding Returnal back is its total lack of save feature. Far from increasing the difficulty, preventing people from saving is just annoying. Not everybody can dedicate five continuous hours to one run, but still, it has outstanding graphics and is already showing what the PS5 can do, provided you've actually got one you can play it on. Number 8, Persona 5 Strikers. Searchlight's power source is south of here. South? Yeah, which way is that? For years, Atlas has been besieged by people asking one question. When are you going to put Persona 5 on Switch? Persona 5 in its original form is simply too much for the Switch to handle. But in 2021, we may finally get to see the Phantom Thieves of Hearts come to Nintendo's flagship console. Now, turn-based combat is replaced by fast, real-time encounters, enabling this outstanding JRPG to reach an entirely new audience. If you love Persona 5 and its story, but aren't too keen on 80 plus hours of turn-based combat and dungeon crawling, Strikers is for you. It's got the distinct art direction of an Atlas title with the fluid combat of Dynasty Warriors. Number 7, Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart. The 2016 Ratchet & Clank was easily one of the best looking games on the PS4, even if its story was a little lacking. But in 2021, Insomniac is back with a vengeance. Not only do we have the most gorgeous PS5 game released so far, but it has a hilarious and heartfelt story as well. Traveling between interdimensional rifts on the fly would have been impossible until now. Rift Apart makes incredible use of the SSD to bring new puzzles and gameplay mechanics to the series. And there's also a brand new protagonist, Rivet, who's capable of helming her own solo game someday. It's the Ratchet & Clank you know and love, but with the innovations worthy of the PlayStation 5. Number 6, Biomutant. If it had come from a AAA studio, Biomutant wouldn't be too impressive, but the fact that it came from a new development studio with only 20 people makes it an incredible achievement, despite its flaws. This RPG sees you make your own furry vigilante, a strange rodent creature tasked with bringing peace to the world. Whether you do this by uniting the many distinct tribes or wiping them all out is at your discretion. It's a colorful game with fast, fun combat and is definitely a refreshing take on the open world formula. Owing to its huge scope, it's a rough and unpolished experience, but if you're willing to forgive all that, Biomutant could become one of your favorite games in 2021. Number 5, Hitman 3. I'd love to see so many familiar faces here today. The rebooted Hitman trilogy ended with a bang this January, as we finally got a conclusion to the story of Agent 47 and the organization behind all the hits he'd been performing. Though Hitman 3 still had those well-crafted levels the franchise is known for, they weren't all simple assassinations. One mission that was different from the standard Hitman fare took place in Berlin, with 47 forced to take out a group of agents sent to kill him personally. Full to bursting with bizarre kill opportunities and dazzling set and narrative design, you'll never feel like replaying this game is a chore. And there are always a few things to unlock. Come on, follow me. Go. We got to 47. Soon there will be no more providence. Number 4. New Pokemon Snap. Oh. 
Nintendo is cornering the nostalgia market once again this year, reviving a series that all but disappeared back in 1999. New Pokemon Snap is a love letter to the people who played the original game 20 years ago, recreating all the excitement of going on a Pokemon Safari with your trusty camera, only now with more Pokemon since we've had so many additions to the Pokedex over the years. It's not an innovative game by any means, but it's a tried and tested formula. Now, you won't only encounter wild Pokémon in combat scenarios, you see them enjoying life and doing whatever they do when they're not fighting battles. Number 3. Monster Hunter Rise Very few developers outside of Nintendo have been able to get outstanding performance from the Switch. The hardware is relatively limited, and until recently, only Nintendo could make it sing. But Monster Hunter Rise performed brilliantly, using the RE engine, responsible for great graphics across all platforms, to the best of its ability. The game is so good that it boosted sales of Switch consoles earlier in the year, making it a winner for both Nintendo and Capcom. More people than ever have gotten into the addictive boss battle loop this franchise has always offered, and Rise is a great entry. Number 2. Disco Elysium The Final Cut Okay then. It looks like we had a little spinning error on Sunday. In its original form, Disco Elysium released to PCs and Macs only in 2019, but it was still wildly popular. It's since become one of the most critically acclaimed RPGs of all time and has its praises sung by everybody who played it. Now, in 2021, more people than ever before can check it out. The final cut has been released across computers and PS4s, with an Xbox and Switch version set to release as well before the end of the year, along with now containing full voice acting for every single character and line of dialogue, it's also had four cut quests restored. It's an incredibly compelling RPG about a gruesome murder in a decaying Eastern European town, and is truly a modern masterpiece. There they both are, two identical shoes, both copious. Number 1. Resident Evil Village Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. We've been getting an annual Resident Evil game for a while now, but the series hasn't reduced in quality because of this. Village will stand tall, very tall, as one of the best Resident Evil games of all time. It took every single criticism of Seven, which was already a brilliant game in its own right, and improved exponentially. It still isn't perfect, but it's definitely going to stay high up on lists of 2021's best games. Survival horror perfection, it's just scary enough without putting people off. And since this year is the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil as a whole, it couldn't have come at a better time. 